No amount of money could ever take me away from you And no amount of money ever will I'm here because you love me you I'm here because I feel the thrill I want to be the best part of me when I'm with you I want to show my love with kill Hey guys, welcome to my channel if you are new and you've never seen my face before my name is tato but if you've been here before thank you so so much don't forget to like comment and if you are new don't forget to subscribe so in today's video i'm gonna be sharing with you guys the tools that a new makeup lover or a new makeup enthusiast because that's what people are calling themselves lately can get at any beauty store and are really beginner friendly and yeah don't forget to subscribe like and leave a comment i really do appreciate you guys please subscribe it's free okay now that we have subscribed we are now part of the family let's get into this video so the first thing that you need to know before you start putting on anything on your face is that you need to create a barrier between your skin and the makeup that you're going to be putting on your skin so for that i have two primers that you can use whether you have oily skin dry skin or mixed of like like a combination of both the first primer that i normally use is this smudge primer it says here it smooths skin for a flawless foundation finish also it creates a smooth matte finish for long lasting makeup wear with all day oil free and it leaves skin feeling smooth so this is a primer a primer helps with creating a barrier between your face like your skin and the foundation and then this can be found at clicks discam and anyway you know and i'm not sure how much it retails for but this is this is an essential for a beginner this is an essential for a person who wants to put on product on her face or his face because even guys are now putting on makeup another primer is this usha's primer it's a sp primer spray it is so good for people with oily skin because I have oily skin myself and I've been using this primer for a very long time. I have not had problems. I've been using this for the longest time guys and it's only 60 rand this one. I got it from Nim Beauty. I'm gonna leave everything in the description box. And we're gonna move to foundation. So for foundation when you're a beginner you want something that especially if you're a person with like hyperpigmentation or you have scars or you have like you know and you're trying to hide not really trying to hide but you're trying to give yourself that confidence when you're wearing makeup and you don't want something that's very affordable and that's gonna give you like a very very expensive finish i recommend this revlon color stay foundation it comes i think it's in 20 something shades i'm not sure this can be found at clicks discam and other beauty stores this is a full coverage foundation when they say it's a full coverage they're not lying when they say it will hide those spots those whatever those uh uncomfortable things that you have on your skin that you you just want to hide this is the girl that you should be using so for brushes I'm gonna share with you guys this this set right I'm gonna share with you this set I got this set from take a lot it was 200 rand before it was on sale so when it was on sale it was 120 the time I got it so since you're a beginner and you don't know anything that has to do with like blending and all that i would recommend that you start off using with a foundation brush this one is from avon um this is this helps with like simple application i would recommend it for my beginners because honestly you just put on a little product here and then you start smearing on your face and that's it then if you feel that 
okay now you're comfortable with the amount of product that you have on your skin and you just want to make it look like sit on your skin I would recommend that you get a sponge, a beauty blender, a sponge, makeup sponge, buffer, whatever they call it. This is literally anywhere, guys. This you can find anywhere, honestly. And I would advise that you use it a little damp, you know. Don't use it as dry as it comes. It's not going to give you a full coverage. As much as this foundation that I showed you says it's a full coverage, if you're gonna use a dry beauty blender to blend it it's not gonna give you it's gonna leave you with patches if that makes sense it's gonna leave you looking like wasanya. so we don't want that so i would advise that you you put this just a little bit in water and then so that it gets this soft and it's easy to just share the product more so how equally so i give you you're gonna use this found, uh, foundation brush you apply the foundation and then you just blend with your beauty blender and then okay this is a 10 set 10 set brush um it has a contour brush but since since i don't think any beginner knows how to contour honestly i don't think unless if you've been learning and you feel like you can do it but this is a contour brush it is just angled like that so that it's easier for you to just bend it like that and then it goes exactly where you want it to go so that's the first brush that it has shop i don't know what they call this one but this one i normally use it to apply my powder just under my eye also when i, I you know that this line i normally use this one and then it has this fluffy round one this one can be used you can use it to apply your foundation as well or to blend your foundation as well and then it has this other it looks like a contour brush as well but i don't know what they call it um this one can be used to to apply blush to apply highlighter and stuff like that just on your cheekbones we have these tiny ones these tiny ones are the ones that you use for your eyeshadow i don't trust these instagram stores i feel like they rip people off so i would really really advice that you look into take a lot and sometimes they do have a sale like randomly they do have a sale so i would advise that you download the app and subscribe to their newsletter so that every time they have a a sale they're gonna send you a, an email and yeah these they are five they are five but i i don't know where the other one is so these are just eyeshadow brushes helping you to blend and everything and everything and then this another thing that i want to share with you is this brush this one can be used all over the face you can apply your powder you can apply your highlighter your blush with it i got it from avon and yeah you can get it at avon but like i said this one can also be used as the same thing as this one so if you have this one you don't need to buy this one another thing that you need as a beginner is this a spoolie is very important especially if you 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 are into drawing your eyebrows this helps shape your eyebrows and helps them to stay intact for the whole day so this is a jewel brush that i got from avon this side can be used to clean up your brows second last thing that you need since you're a beginner and you, you don't even know how to put on lashes i reckon you don't know how to put on lashes you don't know how to put on eyeliner you just want a simple look i would recommend that you get a mascara this one i got Kumaguleng. it was 15 bucks i think so i would advise that you get a mascara but not a dramatic mascara just i don't know if you can see but like this one this one helps like just it it just helps your natural brows to look defined and 
if um it's not gonna show honestly it's not gonna show yeah the last thing that you need is a setting spray even if you're just gonna apply foundation only you need to set that foundation in order for it to sit on your face the whole day so i'd advise that you get this avon setting spray i think it's 90 rand or 70 bucks i got it on sale when i bought it yeah this is the one that i love it 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 really is affordable and it yeah. does the job so those are the tools that you may need as a beginner i hope you guys learned something from this video if you did please give me a big thumbs up and also click on that subscribe button to become part of my family don't forget to leave a comment and follow me on instagram to see how i created this look <laughs> yeah i'll see you guys in my next video thank you so so much for watching